hello everybody welcome to the next uh, video and in this video we want to talk about the optimal volume per muscle group per body part workout and week as we have um, explained in the previous videos weight training volume the amount of exercises sets and reps you do is a key factor influencing the effectiveness of your workout routine that means if you want to get the best results possible your goal is to use an optimal amount of volume for each body part and muscle group per workout and per week total the thing is there's no exact amount of weight training volume that is absolutely perfect for everybody due to individual differences like specific goals training experience genetics volume tolerance work capacity recovery capacities and more it's impossible to make one recommendation that suits everyone however there's some good news and there's a volume range that is best for most people uh, after 10 uh, 10 to 20 years of obsessive research first-hand experience and observing a ton of real-world results you start to notice that the most successful workout programs tend to have certain things in common and in this case I'm talking about volume more specifically the total amount of sets and reps being prescribed per muscle group and body part per workout and per week while the workout routines may be very different the volume recommendations are always surprisingly close and within a certain range as it turns out, science appears to agree with this range too. The majority of the studies I've seen over the years that have looked at workout volume show that there is in fact an amount of sets and reps per body part muscle group that tend to work better than everything else. Combine all of that with various other expert recommendations and you get what I like to call the optimal volume range. So the optimal volume range, wha what is it? The most simple and basic, uh, in the most simple and basic terms, the optimal volume range for most people is first, for each bigger muscle group, about 60 to 120 total reps per week. Second, for each smaller muscle group about 30 to 60 total reps per week huh? in more specific terms this breaks down like this for the chest which is a, a bigger group 60 to 120 reps per week for the back 60 to 120 reps per week for the quadriceps 60 to 120 reps per week hamstrings 60 to 100 20 reps per week, shoulders 30 to 60 reps per week, biceps 30 to 60 reps per week, triceps 30 to 60 reps per week, calves 30 to 60 reps per week, and abs 30 to 60 reps per week. And there it is, my recommendation for the optimal volume range. Can more or less volume also work? Yes, of course, it's certainly possible. However, this is once again not about what can work, this is about what work best yeah? um, and based on scientific research real-world results like 20 years of first-hand experience expert recommendation and the most successful weight training program in existence this appears to be the amount of volume that works best for most people applying the optimal volume range to your training frequency will look like this uh, looking at these recommendations the first question that you probably have is why is it per week instead of per workout basically this is the optimal total weekly amount of volume you should use for each muscle group and body part in order to break it down in terms of what you need to do each workout you must apply this optimal volume range to your chosen weight training frequency the exact amount of sets and reps you should do each workout depends on whether you will be training each muscle group or body part once twice or three times per week so here is how you would break it down training each muscle group once per week if you are training each muscle group with body part once per week 
you would do 60 to 120 reps for each big muscle group per workout with just one workout for each muscle group per week or 30 um, to 60 reps for each muscle group per week with just one workout for each muscle group per week with a workout schedule that only trains each muscle group once per week you would need to get that entire weekly volume range um, during your one weekly workout for each muscle group training each muscle group twice per week if you are training each muscle group uh, uh, twice per week you would do 30 to 60 reps for uh, for each big muscle group per workout with about two workouts for each muscle group per week or 15 to 30 reps for each small muscle group per workout with about two workouts for each muscle group per week with a workout schedule that trains each muscle group about twice per week you would need to divide that weekly volume range by about two and split it up evenly over your two weekly workouts for each muscle group yeah. so how would it look like training each muscle group three times per week then you would do 20 to 40 reps for each big muscle group per workout with three workouts for each muscle group per week or and uh, 10 to 20 reps for each small muscle group per workout with three workouts for each muscle group per week with a workout schedule that trains each muscle group three times per week you would need to divide that weekly volume range by three and split it up evenly over your three weekly workouts for each muscle group should you use the low middle or high end of the volume range this is the second question you probably have about the optimal volume range um, is whether you should you should use the lower or the, the the middle or the higher end this question goes back to what I mentioned earlier about there being no exact amount of volume that is perfect for everybody because of various individual differences and it's uh, those individual differences that will answer this question in general and in most cases this is how it breaks down if you are a beginner with any goal which is building muscle increasing strength losing fat etc then you will do best starting in the lower end of the volume range if you are an intermediate or advanced trainee with the primary goal of building muscle or anything looks related you should most often stick to the middle to higher end of the volume range um, if you happen to have below average genetics and or a below average ability to recover because you have to work or something like that then you would best serve would be best served to stay in the lower end of volume range of the optimal volume range if you are an intermediate um, or advanced trainee with a primary goal of increasing strength then you should most often stick to the low middle end of the volume range the low middle end and if you're a beginner intermediate or advanced trainee with a primary goal of losing fat maintaining muscle and possibly building some while you lose that fat then you would do best sticking to the lower end of the volume range why is there less volume for smaller muscle groups uh, this is a third question you might have about the optimal volume range is that why there is less recommended for smaller muscle groups than there is for bigger muscle groups this is partly due to the fact that they are smaller and just don't need and don't benefit from as much volume as larger muscle groups however it's mostly due to the fact that those smaller muscle groups already get used pretty hard secondarily while training the bigger muscle groups um, meaning they already get a ton of indirect volume for example most chest exercises also hit the shoulders and triceps quite well most shoulder exercises also hit the triceps quite well and most back exercises also hit the biceps quite well there's a um, a very significant amount of overlap there and it definitely needs to be accounted for when planning your workout volume the optimal volume recommendations already factor this in 
So what's net next? Now that you know what the optimal volume range is for each muscle group and each body part on a per workout and per week basis, you are probably also wondering how to break this down into sets and reps per exercises. And this we will find out in the next video. If you want to have more information about the training based on all the experience over 20 years and more um, on hundreds of, of athletes, then you might want to download our ebook, the link you will find below. Have a nice day.